Well, another new market. Sun City Anthem. Way up in Henderson again. 55 plus community. Farmer's market action. Let's do it. It's not a new market. It's just a new market for sparkly sweets. It's 8.40, like 8.45 and uh, there, there don't really seem to be a lot of uh, vendors here. That's usually a bad sign. If the vendors aren't showing up, that means that maybe this market isn't that great. You got spices, microgreens, and our candy, and then you got the produce. That's it for food items. And then it looks like there are four. There's the solar guy, and then there are three like crafts. Like, who all knows? I guess they make soap and stuff. Or uh, what is it she makes? Face lotion. Face lotion, that's right. But it looks kind of weird that uh, there are so few people here, but there's a food truck right here. We heard him say it's his first time here. And then another food truck just pulled up. I don't know what to expect today. Plus, it's eclipse day. Today's the eclipse that everyone's losing their freaking mind over. Maybe not everyone, but some people. And uh, I don't know. First time at Sun City Anthem. Could it be the last? We shall see. some soup from the truck a lady from the truck she brought some soup to all the vendors a sample a nice a sample because the winds cold as you know what it's cold out here it's a uh, minestrone minestrone soup. i've always I've it's always, got bacon in it it does she told you it does. Oh, I didn't hear him say bacon. So the, has bacon. the broth is really good. Yeah, that's good. So nice. You know, I try to stay positive, but I feel like the wind is going to kill us today. I also am not so sure this market is for us. You, you told him this is the first time at this market? Yeah. We're at uh, Sun City Anthem. Did I say that at some point already? I'm not even sure. And we this, got some wind blowing into the mic. This was only once a month. The wind is freaking freezing. If it wasn't for that, it would be a nice day. Yeah, it would be a beautiful day if it wasn't for that. We're in Anthem, which is in the uh, very, it's very far southeast in Vegas. And Sun City is a 55 plus community. So, you know. Another thing tells us that this one isn't that busy is the amount of vendors that are out here. Yeah, <laughs> there's, there are few vendors, which, yeah, that's a giveaway. <laughs> I was worried about that as soon as we first drove up. I was like, uh-oh. Because if, if a market is very busy, then all the vendors want to go to that market. So tomorrow is Cadence, and I think it's going to be very busy. Because two weeks ago, Cadence was really good. Yeah. Yeah, really good. So I'm sure it'll be good tomorrow. There's only two food trucks here. If we don't freeze before today's over. <laughs> so another thing that we've been thinking about business-wise is getting the attention of kids more. One thing that we have found is getting the attention of kids is good for us because the lollipops catch the kids eye and then they drag the parents over to the booth and then the parents get a sample of brittle or pralines which aren't really kid type of candy really yeah. i mean not not these days anyway and so 
We're trying to figure out what to do to attract the attention of more kids. And also, our products are $1.25 and $10 and $12. So we want something in there at about a $5 price. Yeah. So we have some ideas. Thinking about ways to sell more. The more we sell now, the faster we get out of the wind and into a brick and mortar. This whole farmer's market thing uh, reminds me of the three little pigs. <laughs> yeah. You know, we're trying to build our house out of bricks right now. <laughs> and right now it's out of straw. Yeah, we got some straw <laughs> action going. Thank you to Bob and Lisa. Was it Bob or Bill? I think it was Bob. <laughs> Bob and Lisa from Indiana who just came all the way from the strip way up here to uh, Anthem Aww. to visit us at the booth. Too bad it's freaking freezing yeah. with the wind today, but uh, thank you very much. We really appreciate it. <laughs> thank you for visiting yeah. and getting the treats. So. Yeah. Well, it's super windy and super slow. Every market that we go to, I'm in no hurry for it to be over. I want to keep selling, keep selling, but this place is dead absolutely dead oddly enough we do have some sales but it's just it's dead there's no one here at the most there's like two or three people in the entire market at any given time oh well listen you don't know till you try or at least come check it out and we've never had an opportunity to come check it out so it is what it is this market just might not be a great market for us. Christina's over there spending money instead of making money. What is going on? She's got a shopping bag in her hand. What is this? It all starts here. There was a four-way stop that we had come up to that one day. I'm lost. Do you see any? It's, it's up there. Okay. Somehow we were on... That's Water Street. Yeah, you see, look at the Hummus Guy Street. Now, I understand that, but how did we end up back there? Why were we not right here? I don't know. Oh, I should have. Okay, I'll I hope, remember next I time. I hope he listens to himself while he's oh, editing. Oh, I took a right in the wrong spot. I hope you listen to yourself when you're editing up this. Up in this. So you could hear yourself. I'm going to put this un, un, uncut <laughs> right into the. <laughs> Oh, windfall coffee. <laughs> that coffee's good. Tuesday. Cadence. Pretty good market two weeks ago. Every other Tuesday. Second time here. Let's go. All right, it's 1.37 p.m. and we're ready for action. We're getting quicker and quicker. Are you ready for action? I'm ready. Oh, we got some wind action going. It looks quite chaotic when everyone is setting up the last 20 minutes before two o'clock. All the vendors are in motion all right this is what we love about this market it's only 233 we've already sold to like probably five customers yeah and the market is is it hopping or popping <laughs> i think it was hopping I but now it, it's popping i think <laughs> i think it's hopping hey what's popping the market <laughs> Telling you, I know what how I know how it goes. It has to be this way. Somehow, when a market is really good, word gets around. This place is stacked with food trucks today. You know what's really good about these farmers markets? Well, I mean, if we had a store, it would be similar too. But what I really like about the farmers markets is uh, we're already making connections. You know, there's a lady who was here two weeks ago who bought a. Um, 
who bought Brittle and she is running well she's working somehow with a political campaign and um, she's organizing a fundraiser and so they're gonna do like some gift baskets or something and she wants to use you know stuff from local businesses got some contact info we could provide some you know they could purchase some goods from us to put in the uh, gift baskets and there's another connection we made two days ago that we heard from today about a farmer's market that is being put on by a high school and it's a fundraiser for a student who um, got killed I think she was a senior in high school and she was on a scooter and got hit by a car <clears throat> I don't know a little while back and so the the fifty dollars that they charge to to vendors to be in the farmers market all of that is going to a charity wow that was a weird looking wasp it was like pink i hope that's not some kind of weird killer wasp from some other country i don't know what that was i never seen a wasp look like that before Sorry, thank you Now that's a farmer's market. Definitely redemption from yesterday, which was a record low, a record low farmer's market day for us. Uh, I haven't counted yet, but I'm hoping that today broke a record. But it was definitely a good day. See you next time. See you next time. That's not how it goes. <gasps> Golly, you don't learn. Say it right. Oh, I'm so tired. Say it right. Keep it sweet. <laughs>